This is on video. Nothing better than speaking in New York. Jojo, Juliet, AKA the best intern on the planet and you know, a family friend hanging out in New York City, goes to NYU. What's your Instagram handle? Uh, at JJ underscore Farkas. Yes, Farkas Nation. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Hey, man. Good to see you. Hello. Good to see you. What's up, guys? Good to see you. Good to see you. Look at Sharp, man. Thank you, man. Sharp. It's because air. This is on video. Nothing better than speaking in New York. They are some of the sharpest brokers. They're so intense. They're like, get to the point. It's like speaking in like Munich, Germany, when the Germans say to me, Tom, we love your stuff. Just tell, no stories. Just tell us what to do. Right? It's just awesome, right? Like, it's there's just there's an edge about New York City. It's one of the greatest cities on the planet. Sorry for everybody else around the world, but if you've been to New York, you understand it's one of the greatest cities. There's so much happening here, right, that it is, it's my favorite place to speak. Ooh, I love it. Hey, does your mindset matter, yes or no? Does the way you think, your narrative, how you look at the world, does it matter? You and I both know it's everything. You could be in the worst market and dominating with the right mindset. You could be completely in the tank in an unbelievable market and the difference, my friends, is how you see yourself, it's your identity, it's what you believe to be true because all that impacts your behaviors. What are you doing now to improve your mindset? Who has Netflix? Raise your hands really high. Netflix, do you like it or do you love it? Are you a binger? Is anybody watching Ozark right now? Oh my God. I'm like, I like have to text my wife. If you watch one, I will kill you. <laughs> She's like, you're on the road, you could do it. I'm like, I'm working, like don't, right? Like I can't wait for like Saturday at like midnight, start, right? Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, what would you do if Netflix only worked 50% of the time? At what point would you be like, it's not worth it, I'm gonna get rid of this, right? The reality is my friends, the consumers are demanding a quality experience. Write this in your notes. We are in the experience economy. We are in the experience economy. What types of experiences are you creating from the first time they call you or they visit your website or they go to your LinkedIn page or they see you on Facebook or they see you on Instagram, which by the way, Instagram is the shit. It is the most trafficked site on the planet right now. You guys paying attention to that? Are you guys all on Instagram? I did an 800 person seminar with 800 real estate agents in Baltimore the last three days and there was like six people not on Instagram. I was like, don't worry, I'll fax you something. <laughs> Right, like that's insane. But think about this, guys. Like, we're, so let me give you a better example. Who's bought something from Amazon in the last 48 hours? Oh, really? Why, why do you buy from Amazon? Because it's easy, it's fast, because the experience is a no-brainer, right? My wife, like seven months ago, we're sitting in the house, like, and literally, you know, ding dong, we walk outside, it's the UPS guy with like six more individual packages because there's four of us in the house all buying individually <laughs> shit from Amazon. I'm like, you know, we might want to get together, guys, right? But it's free shipping, so it's all good. And my wife said, you know what Amazon's gonna do? Like, we should just give them a key and just let them come in because <laughs> now, and what did they launch 90 days after that? I was like, honey, got any other good ideas? <laughs> like, because you're onto something here. Here's the thing. The consumer experience, we are, guys, 18 months away from you doing this. Oh, you want to see the house? They put their VR glasses that'll look nothing like Oculus because it's going to get way smaller. It's going to be a little more like what Google eventually put, you know, will put out. And they're just going to go like this. Oh, this is awesome. You're like, oh, here, hold on. You hit a button and whew, the aroma comes in. They're like, oh, this place smells fantastic. <laughs> like, that's where it's going. And some of you are thinking, should I call my past clients in Sphere? Some of you are thinking, should I have a consistent email that goes out to my database? Like, th I want you to think about that. Like, there's 1.3 million real estate agents. Now, all my friends know this. How many do you think of the 1.3 million real estate agents? How many do you think sold more than 25 houses last year? Now, all my friends know this because I've been beating it in your head and acknowledging you nonstop. Matt, do you know? 1.3 million agents, ready? Per Corfax, 
only 43,000 of them sold more than 25 homes. So if you sold more than 25 transactions last year, you are one of the 3% that did 25 or more transactions. And remember my new client who did 1,700, he's on that list, he's just higher up, but the person in New York City that sold 25 made four times the money, right? Here's the reality, guys. You don't have competition. Half of the people at the National Association of Realtors did not sell a house last year, half. So half the 1.3, they're driving an Uber right now. God bless their little Bobby socks. I hope they're having fun. Think about what I just said to you. You have no competition, but if you don't innovate, someone else will, right or wrong, guys? So let me give you the last question. How much time are you allocating to test and discover and to try new things and to figure out what that new app is? Or should I do a Facebook Live? Or should I get on Instagram and start doing more stories? Should I start adding video into my email? Like, how much time are you allocating to this? Or are you just letting your price range and your sphere dictate your financial success?